Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you are here today. We are talking because Carlos King is playing another game of semantics with you guys. Carlos King uh, is trying to pull the wool over you guys. And I don't understand. He's done this again, you guys. He's done this multiple times before uh, as it pertains to the record high ratings, right? Uh, so he posts on his Instagram the other day. By a screen grab of an article about Max um, launching own hub featuring Love and Marriage franchise Bell Collective, and I was thinking to myself, uh, isn't this old news? Isn't Ma it's been on Max, right? This isn't a new article or a new announcement. And so I look then at the caption as well, because I'm like, did I miss something? And um, in the caption, it's like. Just call me the franchise player with a king emoji. Catch up on Love and Marriage CD cities, Huntsville, DC, and Detroit, plus Bell Collective on stream on Max while LMAH returns August 17th. Tell me in the comments which show is your favorite and why. Uh, with I emojis, I'm trying to see something in hashtags LMAH, hashtags LMDC, hashtags LAM Detroit. Don't know when that's coming back. And hashtag Bell Collective, you guys. But, but here is the thing, right? Here is the thing. This article, you guys, actually came out in June of last year, I believe. <laughs> June of last year. But but the way Carlos King, like, does these posts, he makes it seem like something's happening now. That, that we need to anticipate something going down now. That this was a new deal that was announced. And, and now go to Max as fast as you can to catch up on, on all of the old episodes. And, and my thing is this. Why? What? Where was this announcement last year? Where was the announcement over a year ago that this was going to be on Max, right? But but we all knew this, right? We, we all knew this. So, so it is giving that you need some streams that you need some views, that you need some people to tune into the old episodes of all of these shows. And guess who is liking the post, you guys? None other than Letitia and Maurice, you guys, from Love and Marriage Huntsville. That is correct, right? Uh, because of course the people who need the show to continue, who need the show to still happen, who desperately need those streams that Marceau already revealed, uh, has nothing to do with him. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, you know, but but anything to support Carlos, right? Anything to support your boss and uh, keep the ball rolling. Some of the cast from um, Love and Marriage DC are in the comments, hyping everything up and, and all of the things. And, and that's great, you guys. But w the elephant in the room is that the show sucks. <laughs> the elephant in the room is that the show has not been good in several seasons. So why am I going to turn on the Max app and look at the glory days of Love and Marriage Huntsville, which, which hasn't been relevant since, what, season two, season three? And, and sit there when I know what's going to happen, when I know uh, the fall from grace is immediately about to happen. Why should I rewatch uh, the trauma, you guys? <laughs> why should I rewatch the train wreck? And, and why should you rewatch the train wreck, right? Like, like just make it make sense. But it is just, I, I just don't understand the semantics and the games Carlos King likes to play. Like, I, I, I would have understood if you said, listen, hey, we, you know, officially went to streaming on Max in last summer, you know, while the show's on hiatus for quote unquote the Olympics, which I still don't buy. Uh, you know, tune into Max, you know, get your fix of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Or for those of you who have own, you can still watch uh, all of these shows there as well uh, through your cable provider, right? And you can watch it via the app or via your, you know, fire sticks or, or whatever, right? But it's just giving, hey, I have this deal with Max. I need to get my coins and I need you guys to stream over there and not on the own app 
not on YouTube where you guys, uh, you know, replay the old episodes and all the things. I need you to go to Max because I need to get my coins. I need to justify why my shows are on there uh, so that you can give me the views that I need to justify the show staying on there so they do not get removed. And, and my question is, where still is the ratings, you guys? Um, you know, for the uh, July 20th episode, you guys, does anybody know? Have you seen it, right? H have you seen her? <laughs> have you seen the ratings? Because I have not seen it. But but it is just funny to me, you know, the, 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 the games that Carlos plays, whether it's the game, games about the ratings, the games about the streaming that would have you convinced that this was some new exclusive deal that was announced. No, this has been announced over a year ago. And the reason that you're saying this now is because nobody's tuning in onto Max. Nobody, uh, the people who are going on to Max, they're watching, you know, the Game of Thrones. They're watching everything but uh, Carlos King Productions, you guys. And that is the real facts of it all, right? So nonetheless, uh, you know, this was, you know, a promo for you, for those of you who didn't know a year ago uh, that all of Carlos shows on own have been on the Mac streaming platform. Uh, now is the time as the show is supposed to quote unquote come back from hiatus, uh, you know, coming up here and uh, he wants you to tune in as if you are completely clueless and, and have no idea what's happening, you guys. Can you make it make sense to me? Why do we have to play these games with Carlos, you guys? Does anybody know? The show comes back next week. Supposedly, right? Comes back on the 17th, right? And I am confused as to why you didn't make this announcement a couple of weeks ago. When uh, you uh, supposedly knew then that the show was on hiatus for the Olympics. Why, why are we doing this now when there's a little bit over a week left to go of this quote unquote hiatus? Uh, that would have been, that would have gained you more streams and more promotion a couple of weeks ago. And this is what I mean. Everything is so after the fact with Carlos that it's giving struggle. It's giving that there's problems. And this this backhanded stuff that keeps happening is it, all reactionary to me, right? Because when we had the record low ratings, right? Carlos waits till the end of the week to, you know, post that article that still is nowhere to be found. It's actually embedded in the last paragraph of another article talking about another show about the linear ratings and these quote unquote record ratings that still I have not seen any analytics, no statistics no data on you guys but posted that to refute the lowest ratings ever of the season you guys right and you know again tries to do these semantics tries to do these little games to make you think that things are going a lot better than what they are and, and it's just nothing but madness it is just nothing but continued chaos as far as i'm concerned and, and and when is it going to stop when is it going to stop carlos you you have a platform where you could just say listen listen uh, I know things have not always been on the up and up with my shows. I, I know there have been some storylines you guys are not happy with. I understand that you feel that there's some favoritism. If you just laid it out there, Carlos, and, and just told the people the truth, I promise you, you would not be getting dragged like this and not be getting clocked like this. But it's the smoke and mirrors that makes this worse, that makes it appear that there is an issue, right? that you're going to refute the low ratings because you need these shows to continue, right? You need to justify continuing to put out programming on the own network, right? So you release those linear ratings, right? The, the 3.1 million L3, whatever, right? Nonsense. Uh, still no receipts, right? And now all of a sudden we have a little over a week left to where, you know, next Saturday, the show's supposedly supposed to come back. So, so why two weeks in, Carlos, are you just now uh, re-announcing uh, that the shows are available to stream on Max when this has been, uh, you know, announced over a year ago? The shows have been on all this time.
right? But you need the coin. You need the viewership. And you got your, you know, numbers in because, again, uh, today's Tuesday. You got the numbers in for those streaming numbers on Max. And the math was not mathing. The views were not viewing. Uh, the streamers were not streaming your shows. So so here comes, you know, the, the big hey. Hey, you guys, I, I am the franchise player. I am the king of reality TV. Check me out. I got this deal on Max that it, you had a year ago. <laughs> that you had a year ago. But but I got this deal on Max now, uh, you know, two weeks into the three-week hiatus that I told you about because I need you to go over there. I need you to go over there and watch these old seasons of my shows so I can get coin. So these shows don't get taken off of Max anytime soon, right? Uh, but, but it's just hilarious because you're not even promoting all. You're not even promoting uh, people who, like I said, who have cable, who, you know, or, or who are paying for their own uh, service or whatever to watch the shows and log in via their provider to watch. You could do it the same that way, too. You could watch all of the episodes of Bell Collective, Love and Marriage Huntsville, Love and Marriage DC, Love and Marriage Detroit. All, you could do all of that on the OWN app. So it's giving, I need the ends to justify the means, and I need to justify my max deal so that I don't lose it, right? Just like you had to justify the quote-unquote record high ratings uh, that you added up since the beginning of time. And uh, to justify, hey, the show's not doing bad like everybody is saying, but the Nielsen ratings say otherwise. The Live Day plus, you know, streaming and DVR ratings say otherwise. So again, why the games, Carlos? That, that's all I want to know. Why do we have to play the games that we play, right? Can we just keep it a buck? That way we don't have to go through all of this. If you said, listen, a reminder to the fans of me, right? A reminder to the fans. I have my shows on Max, right? Please do not forget to stream, but you could have told them this a couple weeks ago, like I said, when, when you knew that the show was going to be on hiatus, right? For three weeks. But but again, you wait until after the fact. You wait nearly two weeks in uh, to the hiatus when nobody is tuning in to say, oh, by the way, you know, let me announce this as a gotcha to make you think something new has happened when this is a year old news, Carlos. A year old news. Now, if you just came out and just said, listen, you guys aren't tuning in and on this hiatus, right? I need you to stop watching the Olympics and uh, tune in to Max. And my shows are on Max, right? Uh, if, if you just kept it a buck with the audience. But, but again, all the games, all, all the semantics, all of the chaos is why we have to continue to call it out, Carlos. So there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.